My name's Dave Wilkie and my wife, Julie. We um, tutored for um, Ms. Quavedo's class. It was a kindergarten class, and uh, we actually helped assist in art classes with Mr. Lucky as well. Uh, my name is Debbie Jones, and I worked um, at uh, Orchard Ridge with a group of first graders. The teacher that I ended up working with is Ms. Rahman. She uh, didn't assign me a specific student. I was pretty much um, coming in and sitting down with the kids, uh, listening to the reading, and so then I would, after they were given an assignment, I would come and kind of go around to each of them and see if they needed help. One little girl in particular stands you know, stands out. Uh, they were talking in the class, in the art class, about about doing Christmas. And I asked her, I said, well, you know, where, what do you think about your Christmas tree? What's your Christmas tree look like? Tell me about it. And uh, she goes, well, we really don't have a Christmas tree. And I said, oh, wow, you don't have a Christmas tree yet. So she went on to tell me specifically that, yeah, she lived in a one room with her brothers and sisters and her grandmother and, you know, in essence, she was a homeless person. But they had a place they were staying in and she, they didn't have the things that, that we just assume that everybody has. So my background is I, I was outside of the workforce for 20 plus years. I homeschooled my own children. So I was not in the uh, school system all that time. You've got 12 to 15 children and you, you, they're all different levels. You know, you've got kids that are ahead, kids that are behind, kids that are right on. What an incredible task it is for the teachers to have to try to, to teach children that are so many different levels. So it was, you know, a privilege to be able to go in and see and help at least in some measure, um, you know, to help some child that's struggling a little bit more and give them a little extra attention. A student that the teacher was just kind of hesitant to actually send, she just didn't know if, if it would work out. The student had more difficulty than some of the other um, students that we were working with, but at the end of the year to see that student actually make more strides or come even farther, um, it, it was very rewarding, you know, to see the excitement. At the end, the teacher had uh, these no thank you notes that the kids wrote themselves, and to see in there a note from him that, that says, I love reading with you, that means a lot, you know, that kind of impact, and we can't do that on our own, yeah. and, and it's that week after week consistency, the trust, um, and the consistency that that child sees to know you're there week after week, they must care about me. It, it was enjoyable to see them, you know, their abilities increase throughout the year and just, just trying to be there just to be a, a little help. You know, it saddens me to think that there are kids that don't have parents at home just to give them, you know, hey, you're doing a great job, you're, you know, you're, you're growing in so many areas. So it was, it was enjoyable. Everybody that we encountered uh, from the, somebody we just ran into in the hall, uh, or the principal, or the office staff, for lack of a better put, way of putting it, is they were loving on us as much as we were loving on them. So it was, uh, we, we couldn't out give what, what they were giving to us. And it was just, uh, overall it was just uh, an outstanding opportunity and, and uh, uh, definitely looking at doing it again next year.